first step in the process is data collection with drone field teams. Our drone teams select a drone and a sensor based on the artificial intelligence needs of the customer. Pairing technology to the output criteria is a requirement that we have in order to make sure that we're giving you what you need. In this case, we selected a 42 megapixel Sony camera paired with a DJI drone, and we're able to create enormous amounts of high quality data in order to fuel the artificial intelligence processing. The next step is data processing at the office. The first step of data processing is creating a computer that can actually handle the amount of data that's being fed to it. The computing power and processing settings are dependent on the data quality objectives that you have. We were able to build multiple overclocked 28 core processor computers that are running over a terabyte of RAM and have multiple NVIDIA Titan graphics cards to handle the processing workflow and expedite the front end data processing. The next step is the AI workflow. The AI workflow was developed with the objective of creating multiple multi-purpose deliverables. First, the artificial intelligence is trained to recognize different objects based on the data objective. Bare earth, structures, green vegetation, burned vegetation, dead tree canopies, and other objects are all trained individually and then deployed across the entire area of interest in different layers. Once the individual data layers are created with AI, we bring it back to a human that creates focus areas to derive tree counts that help develop statistics and probability models for fire risk analysis. The final step is integration into your GIS platform. We begin with shapefiles created from raw AI data. Focus areas are then created based on tree count densities. Existing houses and in construction houses are given a 100 foot buffer. Land with no active construction or house that has been completely burned down is given a 120 foot buffer to allow for layout changes on the property. Slope analysis is then conducted to determine risk factors for dead trees in relation to homes. High risk areas are shown with a red buffer where trees are likely to fall toward homes based on the slope, while low risk areas are shown in orange for areas that can weather storms easier than the high risk areas. Our team is to take all of the raw data and all of the process data and turn it into a deliverable that has usefulness to your departments. The objective is to identify problem areas and process raw information into meaningful, useful data that is integrated with each department that needs it. Either fire and rescue, vegetation management, city council, or individual homeowners.